Hi, this is Kim White with the My Sexy Business Team. I'm here today with today's topic of trust the process. You know, when you're an entrepreneur and you're trying to make your way, you're trying to blaze a trail to do something maybe you think no one has ever done before, there are still parts of the process that have to be done and sometimes it gets really boring. Okay, well, all the time. All the time it can be really boring when you're having to go through the process of something. But if you don't trust the process of building a business the right way, you're going to end up building something you'll eventually have to tear down and start over and do it that way anyway. Now, I want to clarify a couple of things. I don't think you need to do what everybody else does. That's not the process I'm talking about. I'm talking about when you go to someone who is ahead of you, who is doing what you want to do. And this is a really big um, clue to if you are going to be successful, is if you're willing to be coached or mentored and learn from someone who's probably done it a hundred ways the wrong way and is now doing it the right way. So if you're coachable and you're teachable and you can go to someone who's already got a process down, trust the process. I will caution you again, though. Make sure they're really ahead of you. Make sure they're doing something that you want to do. And it doesn't mean that you take your brain out and you put it in the locker and you leave it there and you don't think for yourself, that's not what I am talking about at all. I want you to question the process. I want you to get engaged with the process. I want you to get involved in the things that it requires, the, the key components of the process, and see what you can do to make it better. But I also don't want you to get discouraged and quit too soon. Because when we don't trust the process, when things are looking a little bleak, you're not making enough sales, you're not making connections, you're not doing the things that in your mind should be happening, sometimes we get the I quit. And that's dangerous, especially to an entrepreneur. If you quit prematurely, you'll never know what it could have been. You'll never know if you could be successful because you set yourself up to fail. In my opinion, the only way you can fail is if you quit. So when I tell you I think you should trust the process, it's more about not giving up. It's more about keep on keeping on and find a better way. If it's not working, find someone to help you. Find a mentor. Find a coach. Find someone who is ahead of you in what you want to do. And don't tell me no one's ever done what it is you want to do. There's nothing new. Everybody thinks that they've come up with something new because they're the only ones that have thought of it. But it's really not true. There's nothing new under the sun. So if you will trust that someone has gone ahead of you, even if it's only one person, why not trust the process of not quitting? Why not, you know, question the, the things that go into the process? Why not tweak the process and make it better? But when you don't trust the process and you quit every other day, you're never going to make progress. So you have to be determined to trust the process. You have to be determined to go the entire way, not just part of the way. Go until it's successful. Whatever your definition of successful is. If it's a million dollars, go till you hit the million dollar mark. Go until whatever that successful marker is for you. Don't be quitting all the time. Don't be frustrated and don't think, oh my goodness, I'm the only one that has like had these problems because it's not true. 
Another part of trusting the process is to take all of those self-doubts, all of those things that, you know, sometimes get in a loop in our brain that says, you know, well, you just can't figure it out or you're the problem or, you know, you're not good enough. Take those doubts and throw them away. Don't be stubborn in how you do something. Let others help you who have been there before you. Let them help you get to that place. But be completely stubborn in the giving up section. Do not give up. Do not quit. Keep going. Trust the process so that you can get to those goals that you've set, to those sexy spots in life. I never said it was going to be easy. It's simple to create a sexy life and a sexy business, but it's certainly not easy. If you're looking for easy, then you're probably not cut out for being an entrepreneur. If you're wanting to create something that creates some easy, that's what entrepreneurship looks like. You can make things better, easier, simpler, more amazing, but don't be looking for a way out, a way out of the process, a way out of learning, a way out of having a coach. Those are character traits that you have to change or you won't make it where you want to go. You know, our next topic is going to be on our podcast is going to be whether you need a mentor or a coach. Did you know that there's a difference? Because I think that some of you have tried to go to the wrong flavor of one and not, you know, not succeeded with that relationship because you were looking for something different than what you understood. So if you will trust the process, don't give up, keep going and find someone who's gone before you to help you along the way, you will be able to do the things that you dream about. This is Kim White with the My Sexy Business team. We are here to help you create a sexy business for a sexy life. We'll see you in the next podcast. Love you guys.